everybody, welcome to the Money Reviews. Today we're checking out the Gadsden Dynamics Minimalist Assault Placard. Um, this is Ranger Green, as you can see, because you're not blind. And this is their placard option for a plate carrier, and it's pretty cool. So this is not mine, it's actually a buddy's of mine. I had not heard of Gadsden Dynamics before uh, he had brought this to my attention. We talked about it a few, and then when I got my hands on some of his other equipment, this was actually on it, so I was able to uh, mess with it. And I get to review it separately and talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> so this is Gatsby Dynamics placard for uh, multi-caliber. And this allows you to run uh, three cell across the chest, rifles and pistols. So because it's using elastic, you've got a three cell elastic on the face here. And then three cell pistol elastic kind of kangarooed on top of each other, piggyback. And because it's elastic, it allows you to run multiple calibers. And it's pretty cool. He got this. So when he wants to do be a BB warrior hero on the weekends, he can. Then when he wants to go to a class and run real rifles uh, for that, he can. And he just run one rig. And that was kind of his whole uh, his whole shtick and his whole idea, which is fantastic and really smart. So we got an AEG magazine here. This is a Lancer. If you're a little shorty. Uh, the fit's really really tight, which is actually really good. Um, you kind of want that because if it's too loose, well you're gonna have issues. We've got a Gen 1 PMAG. This is a real one. Fits really smooth. And then we've got an Airsoft AK magazine. So this is what he had in here. Actually, originally, these are his. It also fits really well. So what's cool about these, though, is you have the ability to run pistol magazines up here. And I love how they finished off the bottom of this placard. So the bottom of the placard's finished off with webbing. So it's not just sewn down um, elastic to the bottom of the placard. So you've got that like cased off like on a blue force gear. What they've done is they've left the bottom opened up and they've just finished off this webbing just to make it a little, a little easier to fit different things. And I think that's pretty nice. And it's also kind of the key to helping this be easier to fit different calibers. Uh, fits everything really snugly, really smoothly in here. Very, uh, very firm. So you're not going to lose anything. I don't feel like if you run around, you're going to lose any of these magazines. Uh, the back side of the placard has got a generously sized hook field for adhesion to your different plate carriers. And then we're going to talk about these little wings here, these four points at the top. So when you get this, it does come with um, these female, no, sorry, these male buckles. These are the repair style, so you can take them on and off. If you look on there, when you see these on their website, it'll actually show these uh, placards uh, sans buckles. They'll just have these webbing points. So you'll see these two, uh, my buddy's got these in because these are set up to integrate with the Haley Strategic side entry system. That's why these are on here. Uh, normally these would be for um, side release buckles of the female persuasion to run this with straps for a chest rig. If you wanted to add it in such a way, you could. So that's kind of why these are on here like this. But I don't believe these pieces came with this. If I remember correctly, he added these separately. As far as I know, the only buckles that do come with this rig are going to be these buckles here, uh, the black male side release buckles. The pouch itself is not small, but it's not huge. It's about six inches high, roughly, by about about nine nine inches, about nine inches uh, across. So it's a nice size. Uh, let's pull out. This uh, Pharaoh Slickster here to kind of give you an idea. So this is a Slickster I've got right here. Just so happen to have it laying around. How convenient. And this actually integrates really nicely to the Slickster. And if you were to have a uh, Quasim on the Slickster, uh, this would integrate really well there. And it would look beautifully on the Slickster. Man, I'm looking at it. kind of want to get one of these. Uh, anyway, I digress. Because of the loot field, it does adhere really well. Um, you have just a little bit of space there as far as adhesion. Not too bad. Without any Velcro on the face, you're not going to be able to bring the cummerbund over. So you are going to have to run this on top of the cummerbund. But it's not too bad. It would have been nice. Please ignore the dogs. They're getting dinner. Um, it would have been nice if he had ran the hook all the way out to this edge on either side. It would help with the adhesion just a little more, in my opinion. But it's still not terrible. Yeah, the dogs are going to bark because it is dinner time. 
I apologize, folks. Uh, yes. Dog life. Anyway, uh, the pouch itself is really well made. I don't know why I put it back on. Uh, sewing is really good. Um, Jesus Christ. The uh, sewing is really good. The uh, tensions are everything look really nice. I don't see any major issues. You got Gaston's label here. Uh, Gaston Dynamics. Right there. And it tells you it's made in the USA. So it is very compliant. For those for, for those that that's uh, very important for uh, this is nice. I like the fact that you've got this really heavy webbing separation uh, between this and this. So it's not like they sewed um, elastic to elastic. So you've got elastic sides. You've got a heavy web uh, like webbing piece here. So you got like this heavy webbing sewn to the face of the elastic to add as a backer for the uh, pistol pouch. So basically this webbing strip runs the length down and then around to probably here. So that is kind of how they did that. And that's pretty legit. I, I dig that, that's pretty nice. So that actually adds some rigidity to the face of this and makes it a little uh, more abrasion resistant. So you're not gonna be ripping elastic on elastic and tearing that apart over time. So that's, that is definitely a win. Like I said, this is my first time actually messing with anything from this company, Gats and Dynamics. Kind of digging it. I, I think they make some good stuff. Probably going to actually grab some of their stuff for myself now to mess with for uh, long term. So I can do um, some uh, long term like review follow ups. So I'll probably actually end up buying one of these uh, to have of my own, probably in Ranger Green to throw on my Pharaoh. So I can beat it up and mess with it and give you guys a follow-up on how I think it held up. But he's had his for a little while, and he's used it in a few different ways, and he hasn't had any complaints about it whatsoever yet. So I'm, I'm taking that as a positive, and just, this is just my initial feelings, but I think it feels really good. I, I definitely have seen plenty worse. So I'll be picking up one of these for myself so I can do some more follow-on reviews after action stuff uh, in the future. But I'm very glad he let me borrow this to get my hands on it and check it out. I'm impressed, and I'll definitely be checking more gas and uh, products out. That's all I got, guys. Hope you got something out of this review. Uh, if you're looking for a placard that is not terribly big, kind of minimalist, as the name implies, and that will hold multiple calibers and kind of be a uh, one-stop shop, give uh, Gats and Dynamics a, a look. I'll have a link in the description below to where you can pick these up off their website. And that's all I got. As always, guys, LARP smarter not harder. Get out there, play some airsoft, be a bunch of nerds. Top left-hand corner, that is going to be the most recent video. Top right-hand corner should be either something the algorithm recommends or something I think you'll like. Bottom right-hand corner is a helmet. That's the subscribe button. If you like this content, please consider hitting that guy in the head and joining me here because if you like this, you'll like everything else I do because this is pretty much exactly what I do. Until next time, take care. Hopefully I'll see you on the field. Peace.